So you know what, that's a great question. Difference between purchasing a car from an A-Lot and a B-Lot. A B-Lot is a standalone car lot. If you see a lot, a car lot, they have cars on and they're just standalone. That means they are, it's a B-Lot. That's someone that owns a lot that has a car dealership license, right? And they're selling you cars. If you go to a dealer or a franchise, well, I work at Chevy, it could be Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Toyota, Mercedes, BMW, but that's a franchise dealer, a lot, which means that it's a connection of the sales department, the body shop, the service department. Three things, three companies under one roof that's owned by that dealership owner. And I work for a dealership and I also work for a B lot. Let me just talk for a minute about an A lot. We have more banks that we deal with, more lenders. And the reason you want to go, and I'm not gonna knock a B lot as far as someone that, that owns a lot, but you get more from a A lot. Number one is we have more banks. And if you come in for one thing and you can't get what you want, then we're gonna give you more options. We're not just gonna push you into what we think you should get. So one, you get more financial institutions. You may get a better rate. Matter of fact, let me just say this. You will get a better rate with us, right? Because we have more options versus what I'm finding is a lot of people are going to the B lots because they think they can't go to the A lots, right? And let's get that out of our mindset and let's think about, don't worry about credit when you get in the door. Let us do our job is to put you into a vehicle. Remember, the reason why you want to come to the Queen is because I want to walk you through the process. Because if you can't get into a vehicle, I'm going to give you alternatives to put you on the right path with your credit to get you into a vehicle. One thing I want to talk about when we're talking about an A lot is being connected to an A lot. It doesn't matter to me if you know if you you come to me I'm here of course I want you to visit me at Joe Long Hammer Chevrolet but if you find another car somewhere else and you have questions I'm gonna be there for you you know but and when I say I'm gonna be there for you is that you can always reach out to me but when you go to a lot having a relationship is very important because remember I'm gonna tell you the most important people that you need to get to know at a dealership is you know the salesperson you want to find a reputable dealer that do your history look that dealership up. Find out what the people are saying about the dealership. A warm referral is better than a cold referral. You know, I'm here because of Deborah. You know, I've been knowing Deborah for, what, six, seven years, right? And we built our relationship. So when you have a referral to someone, that's better because what? If something happens, you know you can go back to that person that referred you. But the two most important people at the dealership besides the salesperson is the service advisor. Because we sell you the car, but what happens after the sale, after you buy your car. It's service. You want to develop a relationship with the service advisor at that a lot, at that dealership. The reason you want to do that is if you get with someone you trust, because I have a gentleman, his name is Steve Winkler, and we've been knowing each other since 2010. I sent all my customers to him. And the reason I do that is because when you're buying a car, you may have one to 10 things that's wrong with your vehicle. But that good service advisor is going to tell you the things that you need to get fixed right now what's most important and not telling you, oh, you gotta get all these 10 things fixed. One more part, um, body shop. If your car is in an accident, you want, at the A-Lot, we have the body shop. And I had to come and give you an example. I had a customer that actually went to another collision center and the body shop is the same thing. It's just two different times. And she went and got a quote at another body shop and then she thought about me after the fact. And she was telling me what happened to a vehicle and I said to her, where did you go? She said, well, I went to blah, 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 collision shop. I said, you need to visit our dealership and use our body shop. She went to the body shop at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet and she's getting her vehicle fixed with us. And it happened to be that our quote was lower than the other collision center's quote. And the reason is because we do more claims, we do more things, and that and that body shop versus that collision shop, right? So when you have more customers, you're able to do more things. You know, with a B lot, let me say this. You know, sometimes what's happening is they're basing that those last two cars they sell, whether they can be able to pay their light and their gas bill. When you have a franchise, they have to be able to have money in the bank, assets to be able to pay their bills in case they don't sell a car. Thank you, Regina. You're welcome. Thank you.